In this lesson, we will examine the features found on the home screen of your handheld and briefly introduce each of the applications. On your handheld, when you turn it on, you'll be confronted with this home screen. To access the home screen at any time, you can also press the home key at the top right hand corner of your keyboard. On your home screen, you will see what is called scratch pad mode at the top left. You will see documents over on the right hand side and across the bottom you have the different applications. Let's briefly look at scratch pad mode. To open scratch pad mode you can click on the word calculate or graph or alternatively on your keyboard, just below the escape key, is the scratch pad key. You can click on that and you'll be taken into scratch pad mode. Now be aware that in scratch pad mode, you do not have full functionality of all of the features that are available in each of the different applications. Scratch pad mode is really only used for quick calculations at any time. Here you are on a calculator scratch pad page. If you type in a quick calculation, for example 9 plus 6, it works it out for you. You can switch over to the graphing side of scratch pad by clicking on that tab or you could click on your keyboard, press the scratch pad key and it will switch between the two different views. To escape from scratch pad mode, you can press the X at the top right hand corner of your screen and it will escape from that mode. Under documents here, you can open a new document. You can browse the files on your handheld. If you have a recent document open, you can open that recent document with option three there. You can open a current document or page that you are on. You can change the settings of your handheld with option five. Across the bottom, you've got the different applications. You've got a calculator application, a graphing application, geometry, lists and spreadsheets, data and statistics, a notes application, and vernier data quest. Let's have a brief look at each of these applications. So let's open up a calculator application. Here it does the usual calculator applications. We could do 9x, add 6x, we get 15x. To add in a new page, we could go control and then above the dot key you will see add page. So press that and you will see each of the applications that you could add to your new page. So let's add in a graphs application. And note the numbering system with the tabs across the top. We are now on problem one, page two, and we have a graphs application open. We could graph a parabola, for instance, and there we go. If you press the home screen, it will take you back to the home screen. You could then open up a geometry application. We now have problem one, page three, with a geometry application. To quickly draw, say, a triangle, menu, come down to shapes, option five, and let's choose triangle, option two. If you click on the three vertices of your triangle, you will have a triangle there. Let's add in another application. So to do that, we could go control add page, or we could do it via the home page again, the home screen. Come down to lists and spreadsheets this time. We now have a lists and spreadsheet application open, and this is problem one, page four now. Let's give this column a title and we're gonna call it score. Press enter. 
Now in cell A1, I'm gonna type in the number three and press enter. Then four, enter, five, enter, six, enter, seven, enter. Those numbers that I've just entered into column A have been stored under the word score. To show you how that works, if I come back to my calculator application, I can press the control and then the up arrow and navigate back to the calculator page. Press enter. I can now type in the word score. Alternatively, if I didn't want to type it in, I can press the var key, which is short for variable, and it will give me the word score. I can choose it from that list. It goes bold because the calculator knows that something is stored there. I press enter and it returns the numbers from that list. The next thing I will do is press the home key again, and this time choose a data and statistics application. I come down to the bottom of my screen and click to add a variable and I'm gonna choose score from my list. By default, I will get a dot plot. If I wanted to change that to say a box plot, I could come to menu, go across to plot type, which is option one, and choose box plot option two, and it will change my numbers into a box plot for me. Back on the home screen, we have just covered the first five applications. Notes will be covered in a future lesson in this series. Vernia Data Quest is where you can add a temperature probe or any other kind of probe to your handheld to take scientific measurements. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.